This video gives a brief introduction to Google Drive Spreadsheets. Google Drive Spreadsheets provides you with an easy to use spreadsheet tool that's free, works on almost any platform, and makes documents easier to share. It doesn't have all of the bells and whistles of Excel, however it has the most important bells and whistles that most people need. create a document in Google Drive, go into Google Drive and click on the red Create button. Here you'll see the different kinds of Drive documents that are available. We're going to select Spreadsheet. And immediately a spreadsheet is created for us. To name a spreadsheet, click on Untitled Spreadsheet and enter the name that you wish to use. To add data to your spreadsheet, each cell provides you with the ability to enter one piece of information. So for example, Suppose that I'm entering a list of fruit that I need to sell. In column A, I'm going to enter the type of fruit. Column B, I'm going to enter the number of units. Column C, I'm going to enter the unit price. And column D, I'd like to enter the total price. So I'm going to sell three kinds of fruit. Apples, oranges, and bananas. And suppose that I have 35 apples in stock, 27 oranges, and 40 bananas. And apples cost 50 cents each. Oranges cost 60 cents. And bananas cost 75 cents. To enter formulas, we would not calculate the total price manually, but rather enter a formula to compute the total price. So rather than multiplying 35 times 0.5 manually, we would simply enter a formula to do so automatically. I move the cursor to 35, enter a star for multiply, and then move the cursor to the unit price. This will automatically multiply 35 times 0.5 into this cell, coming to $17.50. Likewise with oranges, I would type in the equal sign, the quantity, the asterisk for multiplication, then highlight the unit price, and get the total price of the oranges. Another way to enter formulas is strictly by typing. So what I could do is enter references to the formulas that I would like to go into that I would like to go into this cell. So for example, for bananas, I would enter equals and this cell number here, which is B4, and asterisk for multiply, times this cell C4, and then hit enter. Now I have the total price of each type. To get the total I could create a new, enter into a new row, and then add up the three types manually. Equals 17.5 plus equals 16.2 plus 30, and hit enter. Now we know that the entire order is worth $63.70. The nice thing about spreadsheets is they allow you to easily ch change your data. Suppose that there was a mistake and apples really were in quantity of 45. I could simply move to this cell and type in 45, hit enter, and the entire spreadsheet will be calculated. Likewise, suppose that bananas come in at a unit price of 80 cents. I change the unit price to 0.8 
hit enter, and automatically all of the other data changes. Some other features of Google Drive spreadsheets include the ability to share files. You can share files with other people and allow them to make changes to the same file. This is quite different from Excel, where each person would manipulate a file on their own computer and then reconcile all of the changes. Here, all of the changes can be made to a single file. In addition, you can save your file as an Excel document for use on your own computer, in addition to using all these other different formats. You have the ability to edit information, to create header rows, to insert and delete rows and columns. You can also add comments and use one of many different kinds of functions and create charts. You can format data in many different ways and also of course bold, italic, underline and use other kinds of formatting. You can sort your data according to different columns and even use scripts which will automatically perform certain functions for you. One particularly powerful tool in Google's spreadsheet is the ability to create forms. Create forms allow you to give a link to other people. They enter the data into the link and then it's immediately placed into your spreadsheet. Of course, there's the usual help. And again, since this is the cloud, every change that you make is saved to Drive. That's my first lesson for Google Drive spreadsheets. If you'd like more, please tune into my channel.